What's up y'all and welcome to my closet. Today is going to be a super casual video. I wanted to show you guys my brand new jewelry store unit. I'm trying to be somewhat of a minimalist and try to focus on just getting a few pieces that are really nice quality and like match a bunch of stuff. So today I'm going to show you guys my awesome jewelry store unit, some of the cool features. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. All right, so this unit is from joyous.com. There's two ways you can actually mount this this guy. You could actually put it on the wall or you can use the hooks that it comes with and actually hang it over the door. This has been working just fine for me. The front of this unit is a full blown mirror. So I love that there's dual functionality there. All right, so let's open up this little baby right here. Ta -da! So let's go ahead and start off on the inside of the cabinet. In the roof of the actual unit, you'll see that there is a line of LED lights. So it doesn't matter if I have the lights on or off. I always see everything inside. You also have a light switch, which is great because if you never need to use the lights, you could just turn the switch off like this and it'll always be off. Or you could turn it on and it'll only turn on when the actual cabinet is open. It almost functions like your refrigerator. A refrigerator with full jewelry. <laughs> Underneath that, you've got your spaces for all of your rings. So you've got two large sections that you can play with. You've got like the puffy rolls that you can sandwich your rings in between into the crevasses. Underneath the mirror, you're have your first row of hooks. I've got 12 different hooks to play with. I use this area specifically for like my shorter necklaces, so ones that only go up to like 18 inches long, and I also use some of the hooks for some of my heavier like statement bracelets. Moving down to the last section of this cabinet, this area has some of my favorite features of the storage unit. You basically have three different shelves, and within the shelves you have actual removable trays that are held together by magnets so you can move and change each box depending on your needs totally genius also the magnets are really strong so once I put it down onto the magnets they lock in place they're very sturdy in this first tray are gonna be some of my smaller earrings that didn't fit into the other earring area that we'll get to in a little bit shelf number two I got my favorite organizer. This is the watch organizer. It's got three equal sections and each one comes with its own velvet pillow so that you can put all of your watches beautifully arranged like a department store within each one. So I was able to fit two per velvet pillow. So I've got six watches here. I actually only had six watches so it was like perfect for me. And then my last shelf are my statement cuffs. These are cuffs that kind of need to sit in like a solid place. They can't really hang on things because they have an open gap. So I just put them them all onto this tray and just kind of jam them in where it fit the best. All right, moving to the left side. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left in my closet. That's my stuff. If I bought it, please don't touch. The dog's looking at me being like, you sound like shit. So going over the left side of the cabinet, again, this is the back side of the actual cabinet door. The first quadrant is going to be your earring hanging station. I recommend this area for any earrings that are like a fish hook. The hooks that actually curve, not the ones that are like studs, just because this wooden um, section is a little bit on the thick side. We have a stud earring and the actual post is not long enough to go through the wood um, divider and also like catch on to the back of your earring, then it's gonna fall out. So I, I predominantly use this for actual like hanging type of earrings. But moving down to the middle section, definitely one of my most visited areas of the cabinet. You've got a bar that expands the entire width of the cabinet door, and this is where I hang all of my thinner, stackable, bangle type of bracelets. I love the fact that the actual bar itself is covered in the same velvety felt material as the rest of the cabinet. Down below the bar, you're gonna find your next set of hooks. You've got two levels here. Each level has seven hooks, and this is where you can kind of like go nuts with more necklaces. And you can kind of use this in two different ways. You can either hang two different levels of short necklaces. For me, I only had long necklaces left, so I just literally used the top row and left the bottom empty. To be quite honest with you, 
every time I hung anything down here with my long necklaces, they would just get really tangled. So I literally just blocked out this entire area to give my long necklaces the room that they deserve. And then last but not least, at the very bottom of the door, you're gonna have a stretchy elasticized pocket made out of the same felt material. This is where I hold like extra links for my watches or seasonal things like my summer bangles that I only wear during the summertime. I keep them in here during the winter and then I'm gonna move them back up to my um, bobble bar up here whenever I'm gonna be wearing them more frequently. So that's pretty much it guys. Again, I've been trying to get rid of a lot of excess crap. So this unit was one of the things I wanted to invest for myself and say, you know what? If you can't fit it in the unit, you shouldn't have it. It's a great way to actually know what you have. I used to just keep everything and like, you know, just all over the place. I would never know what I had and I never got to utilize a lot of the things that I spent money on. So totally useful organization piece. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my jewelry unit tour today. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments area. Yeah, I love you guys. I'm sending you so much love from my little closet here in Austin, Texas. Have an amazing rest of your weekend and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye. Mwah.